it was obvious to me that the collection Folkwang has of American art from the 1950s and 60s is an ideal complement, a match in a way to the Loza collection. Uh, to put it a bit uh, brutally, uh, he has what we don't and we do have what he does not have. So uh, uh, putting the two parts together, you get a wonderful, wonderful overview of uh, American uh, painting from late surrealist influences coming to the US, uh, going into abstract expressionism, then uh, turning into color field painting and minimalist painting in the end. You will find that the works the Loser Collection has of the artists represented are major works by these artists. This is what makes it, as a matter of fact, so strong, so marvelous to work with. This goes for Twombly, this goes for the Kooning, this goes for this wonderful Vedova here, with his wild expressionist gesture, and so on. L'art a enrichi ma vie tout le long, et quand je vois que l'art m'a aussi aidé à ne pas, pas être seulement un homme d'affaires acharné et qui avait que ça dans la tête, l'art m'a assoupli, pour ainsi dire. Et des contacts comme avec Fabienne Verdier, etc., m'ont permis de, de connaître tout un autre monde. J'ai une vie, après ma carrière d'homme d'affaires, qui est sublime et qui ne s'arrêtera pas jusqu'au dernier jour. Et ceci me donne énormément d'énergie et énormément de relations humaines que je n'aurais jamais, jamais de ma vie pu expérimenter. The idea was to select artworks from both collections which would somehow fit together and develop a dialogue and a resonance. We have Tongi uh, as the classical uh, representation of a canonical uh, surrealist approach. Giacometti comes from a classical sculptural uh, tradition which then totally gets disrupted by his meeting the Surrealist Revolution. We have Pollock and we have Twombly. They all find their own ways to surmount, to go beyond Surrealism and create something new, starting from the Surrealist experience. If we go to the next gallery and settle, we have Medardo Rosso from our collection, a, a fantastic sculpture who is kind of an odd man out because he's not from the period we're talking about. But you had this very early experiments with the highly impressionist texture of the of, of face sculpture's surface, which goes on to Giacometti, which goes on to Fontana, and you suddenly you see a line of a tradition which spans even much farther and much wider. Including Rodin, it also seems to be a, a weird choice at the first glance, but uh, the whole process of distortion and tearing up figurative representation that goes on throughout the 20th century is in a way anticipated by Rodin. Ce dialogue qui a été créé à Essen avec Rodin et le tableau L'existant de Fabienne était une grande surprise pour nous. Le premier jour, nous avons vu cela. Elle a tout de suite, comme elle le fait, vu beaucoup, beaucoup de liens entre, entre un ancien artiste et sa, son œuvre. Dans la même salle, il y avait aussi un de Koning, un Chamberlain, même un Vedova. Et elle était dans cette salle presque dominante, parce qu'elle était tellement différente. Et pourtant, une fois de plus, on a vu sa qualité tient debout avec les plus grands noms dans l'art. 
you would expect that the Graubner would come from the Folkwang collection because he's an artist from here, from the Rhineland. Uh, on the contrary, this is one of the best Graubners I've ever seen. It comes from the Lose collection. On the other side, the Falkwang has a wonderful Rothko, and it's just fantastic to see uh, those paintings together in a room, something I never, I never saw. It. In the same gallery, we have Richard Serra. He worked here very early on because this is the Steel City, and it's fantastic to see this artist who connects to the region in a very different way, but also to, the, to what we see in the gallery. Elsworth Kelly, who is a uh, highly underrepresented uh, still in, in German museums and also blends in perfectly. <laughs> 